Hi, Linda Anderson here from Linda Lou Creates, and I'm so happy you joined me. Each month I hold stamp classes in my home, and I wanted to share with you three of the cards that we created for February. Now, I had a few kits left over and decided I wanted to make them up. However, I challenged myself to change them up just a little bit from what you see here from the originals. So, let me move two of these aside and let me share with you this one. Obviously, it's a Valentine's Day card, so since it's past Valentine's Day, I wanted to make one then that uh, could be used for any occasion. So, let me just set this aside. First of all, as you can see, it is a gate fold, so it's kind of a fun fold in that regards. So, let me bring over some piece, the pieces that I have. First up is the card base. Yes, I went ahead and did some of my stamping already. So, the card base measures, it is eight and a half, five and a half. Now you see two score lines here, um, two and an eighth. I'm silly and I flip mine over and do it at two and an eighth again in my scoring tool. So um, that way, like I say, it's two and an eighth on each side. So this is what's gonna create our gate fold. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold one side in. Okay, let me find my bone folder. Here we go. Okay. And fold the other side in. So, like I said, I'm challenging myself to create something a little bit different. And what I have here then, the original card, whoops, had these fun hearts. This uh, designer series paper is out of the mini catalog and it is called From My Heart. Now, all I'm doing now is using the other side. So it is this fun, it's a specialty designer series paper because it has this fun uh, foil shiny side to it. So let me go ahead and I'm going to adhere these together and I will give you the measurements here in just a second. Okay. So the designer series paper, it measures five and a quarter by one and seven eighths. I'm adhering it to a piece of flirty flamingo and it measures two inches wide by five and three eighths. Okay, so I have two of those and now I'm gonna go ahead and get them attached to my card. So I'll hurry up and Get the adhesive on. And I find my little flaps here and this is where I'm going to attach. Okay, there's one side and here is the other side. Now, I did a lot of my stamping ahead of time um, just to save some time here. So let me just share with you the stamp set that I used. You can see it on the inside. Instead of using hearts like I did on the original one, I just cut out several die cuts and circles. I used the stitched shapes here with the Whisper White. I have Flirty Flamingo and then Basic Black. And these are the layering circle dies that I used there. The stamp set that I used is here. It's called Heart to Heart, again, from the mini catalog. Now, my little hello sentiment on the front, um, it comes out of then the Timeless Tulips, again, from the mini catalog, okay? So I just stamped that in black. The other colors here, we've got Granny Apple Green and Real Red, okay? So the trick to a gatefold card, like most of our fun fold cards is to make sure that you, when you adhere it, that your adhesive is only on one side of whatever it is that you're adhering down to the card. Otherwise you're going to adhere it closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up, just hold it with my fingers and attach my circle, making sure that those dimensionals are all on this side so I don't have it closed. Okay, um, a little bit I needed to go over a little bit more so I will work on this and get that out of the way 
All right, so a little oops there <laughs> that we can take care of then. Okay, so I have this fun hello card. I wanna just add a few little somethings on it. So I'm going with the metallic pearls. Uh, I have the gold ones here, so I'm just gonna pop them off here and just add them to my flower right here in the middle. Maybe if I can get them to stick on. And here's card number one, sort of a, a recycle challenge to change this up, okay? And it is a fun fold, so it, there's that uh, gate fold. Okay, card number one. Let's move on to the next one now. Okay, the next one, let me pull it out. And it was right here. It is crumb cake, black and white. Um, I used the uh, painted poppies for the uh, for here um, embossing it in the white and just a little bit of uh, strips of, of uh, DSP and some gold foil very simple to do what I wanted to do was change this up just a little bit still keeping it simple though so I used out of the original the papers so here is my card base it is crumb cake it measures five and a half eight and a half and this is a four and a quarter score line inside i already have my insides in it is whisper white so it's five or excuse me no it's four by five and a quarter um this is some of the golden honey uh, dsp that is uh with celebration and um that's just a, a scrap piece there. I, I don't even think it measures half an inch. And it was just something I had, and I'm like, hey, let's decorate the inside with it. So there is the insides for that one already done. On the outside, I kind of got some things started here. The black is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. And then the crumb cake here is five by three and three quarters. Now I did add another strip of uh, DSP here, this the Golden Honey. Um, this is the one that was in the, on the original. So when I pulled it out of my card kit, I used it. Banner cutting here to create that little banner at the end. But I just wanted a, another strip of it, so I did add that piece there. You're probably wondering why do I have it extended. I just kind of was playing with it here. I didn't know where I wanted to lay it out. So I just extended it out. And then what I can do is flip it over and then cut these tails off. So that way I don't have to worry about the length of it. Um, I just have it kind of extra long and then I can just trim it down there accordingly. So the piece of gold foil, this though measures a quarter inch wide. These strips here, are three-eighths of an inch wide so just a, just a, a hint wider on that regards so let me just put a little blob of glue on this and get that put down as well so let me turn this to the side so I can see what I'm doing I just want to have it flush to the end and there we go there's that little piece of gold that you saw here on the original. All right, the stamping here, let me tell you about that one. Now that, as well as the inside, this set uh, band together comes from the uh, annual catalog. So I used uh, the sentiments uh, from that, stamping it in the Tuxedo Black Memento ink. So let me go ahead and get this now all adhered down to the card. I like to, to bring in a pop of color by adding this little bitty layer. Uh, my layers are generally just an eighth of an inch bigger. So, and I just feel like there, I've just added another pop of a different color then. So, um, keeping it simple. Okay. And just changing up the orientation of the way the card is laid out. Now, as you see, this one does have some of the linen thread, and I'll tell you what, I have the bow. I saved that, I'm reusing that out of the kit, and 
popping it off from our glue dot. Well, I popped it completely off the glue dot. <laughs> so let me try this one more time. So let's go ahead and get that on. Now, there we go. Now the glue dot's on. Just need to kind of squish it a little bit to hide it underneath there because that knot's pretty small. And I'm just going to pop it right here. And there we go. And there's card number two. I'm just keeping it nice and simple. And that is it on this one, card number two. All right, started with this and challenged myself and ended up with this one. Now, the final card, card number three. Again, using that Golden Honey Designer Series paper that is out of the Celebration brochure and the fun, 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 ever so popular Honey Bee stamp set. I'm actually using the bundle on this one. So that means that it includes the dies and if you purchase them together, they are you are saving 10% this way. And I use the dies uh, here for the the honey, the hive rather, the bees. And this cute little sentiment came out of the stitched so sweetly die set. This little die right here. Love it. So it was just the perfect size, exactly what I needed. So this was the original card. I used the uh, that banner punch on this to get that fun thing there. And let me now show you how I want to change this up. So using the paper that's in here, I did cut up this honeycomb paper and then the black as well. So let me show you here what I mean by that. So let's go with the measurements. The card base. Uh, this one's the top folding one. This is the one that I really love. So we're talking 11 by four and a quarter. This score line is at five and a half. Okay. Now, like I said, I did cut up this honeycomb paper and I cut it then to be one and five eighths of an inch wide. It's already five and a quarter from this card. So I just cut it down to one and five eighths inch wide. The black, which was this layer here, is already at five and three eighths, and now I've made it now one and three quarters wide. So I just adhered those two together. This two inch piece here, this is two inches wide out of the kit, then it also comes at five and a quarter. So I'm just using this as it is. So let me go ahead and show you what I did here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just adhere this down to the center of the card front. Okay. So, here we go on this. Now, this honeycomb piece, I'm actually gonna put it at an angle, just something fun. And as long as I have it that it's overhangs the width of my card I'm good all right so let me go ahead and get some adhesive on the back here okay and like I said I'm gonna angle it but I need to make sure that it overhangs the width of the card so that looks pretty good right there okay so I'm gonna open this up and trim this out so let me get my big heavy-duty scissors for that okay and oops and that one okay now I went ahead and I'm going to reuse what's already in the kit this is daffodil delight whisper white uh, again the stitched shapes and the layering circles is what I've die cut out of here. This time I just stamped using the Daffodil Delight ink the hive right onto the onto the circle. So let me go ahead and get that adhered down. And let's use a few dimensionals on the back of this. Now for me a few is uh, probably quite a few. <laughs> Most people don't use as many but I got to admit, I am a uh, dimensional hog when it comes to uh, making sure that it sticks up. So, 
Let's go ahead and pop these off. This is just the way I like it, so. Okay, now let me go ahead and I'm just going to adhere it right here down near the bottom, kind of something different. Okay, one dimensional on the back of this bee. This was the little bee um, out of the honey bee set. Uh, I just used a marker, just my um, stamp and write marker in Daffodil Delight to color in those stripes. If you have the blends, you could use those as well. Anything to color him in. All right, so let me go ahead. I'm gonna pop him about right here. Now my thank you, again, from the Honey Bee set. I am also going to pop that up. Okay. And just kind of slip it right underneath here. There we go. And there's the Honey Bee card. One thing I wanted to say is on the inside, I stamped the bigger bee, and I want to just go ahead and make sure that I get some yellow on his stripes as well. Now, just a little word of caution, if you are going to color him in, don't use the blends uh, on this, otherwise it would seep right through to the back and you would see then that um, on the back here. So make sure you use a marker um, on it if you're using, putting stamping directly onto your card base that way. So that's a little tip there. So, so here's the original. Here's my challenge card. Here's the original on the gatefold. And here's what I challenged myself to make. One more. Then the crumb cake card. That's the original. And here's the one that I challenged myself to do. Uh, lots of fun. Uh, I will be sure and post all the measurements on my blog. That's lindaloucreates.com. Uh, that you can go to to find out all the measurements for each of these cards both the original and the uh, challenged version so i really want to thank you for watching my video today if you liked it please give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing to my youtube channel that way you won't miss out on any new videos i want to thank you again for joining me and i hope you get a chance to create today bye now